see the biggest stars in jazz join together to celebrate International Jazz Day. Jazz at the White House. Please welcome your host, Morgan Freeman. Good evening. And welcome to Jazz at the White House. And before we begin this extraordinary evening of music, I'd like to thank the President and his extraordinarily beautiful First Lady for allowing us to bring all of these instruments into your home for this good old-fashioned jam session. Hello. Jazz at the White House is a celebration of International Jazz Day. It's a worldwide annual event that takes place on April 30th in over 190 countries on all seven continents, celebrating the global influence of jazz. While it originated right here in the United States, jazz has become an international art form that for more than a century has helped soothe and uplift the souls of millions of people. To get things started, the White House's own Harold Trumpets will lead us into a beloved jazz standard that beautifully blends the tender with the tough. Please welcome Trombone Shorty, Ben Williams, Kurt Elling, Chris Bowers, Brian Blade, along with the Rebirth Brass Band and Dee Dee Bridgewater, performing St. James Infirmary.
Tubman $20 bill. Uh -oh. You can crumple it all up real nice, stuff it right into this pocket right here with her pretty face sticking right out the front. Just let them know that when I died, I had money to my name. I've I got, got the such a shame, shame, shame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome four-time Grammy Award winner, Esperanza Spalding. Good evening. It is such an honor to be a part of this incredible evening of music that champions peace and unity. And it's a personal thrill to be among so many legendary artists, many of whom are my musical heroes. Like these musicians in our next number performing Coco con Poco Coco. Please welcome Sakir Hussein, Leonel Laweke, James Morrison, Pequito de Rivera, Ben Williams, and Chucho Valdez.
The Blue Room is a room in the White House the president often uses to greet foreign heads of state and members of Congress. Tonight, we take you into this historic room for an intimate performance by two jazz legends. Performing East of the Sun, please welcome Christian McBride and Diana Krall. <laughs> of the sun and west of the moon we'll build a dream house of love dear close to the sun in the day and nearer to the moon at night we'll live in a lovely way dear sharing our love in the pale moonlight just you and I forever and a day love we keep that way Up among the stars we'll find A harmony life to love the tune East of the sun, west of the moon Dear, east of the sun and west of the moon Buddy Guy and Aretha Franklin when jazz at the White House continues. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the White House. Good looking crowd. For five years, International Jazz Day's main event has been celebrated around the world from Istanbul to Osaka to Paris. So we couldn't be prouder that this year, jazz comes back home to America. And jazz is perhaps the most honest reflection of who we are as a nation. Because after all, has there ever been any greater improvisation than America itself. We do it in our own way. And that's what's attracted a global audience to this music. It speaks to something universal about our humanity. The restlessness that stirs in every soul, the desire to create with no boundaries. And if we can keep faith with that spirit, there's no doubt that jazz will live on for generations to come. So let me stop talking. We've got an all-star lineup of artists from around the country and around the world. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Let's do this thing. 
please welcome Brian Blade, Christian McBride, Herbie Hancock, and the incomparable Aretha Franklin. <laughs> and gentlemen, stay. Good evening. It's a great honor to introduce a man who, is, in a six-decade career, has used his instrument to create songs of protest that gave voice to an entire nation. His struggle for human rights, coupled with the knowledge that music has the power to heal, are exemplified in the anthem he wrote in support of his friend, the imprisoned South African leader, Nelson Mandela. Joined by Chris Bowers, Lee Rittner, Till Bronner, Bobby Watson, Elie de Gibri, Marcus Miller, Kendrick Scott, Didi Bridgewater, performing Mandela. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Hugh Masekela.
To see more great performances from tonight's show, go to jazzday.com. All right, in the spirit of great jazz crooners like Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, and Harry Connick Jr., comes an artist who's as adept on piano as he is singing jazz tunes. Joined on stage by Till Brona, Bobby Watson, Ben Williams, and Brian Blade, please welcome Jamie Cullum. I'm sorry to say I didn't know her name In fact, the last six hours are a hay Piecing together the fragments of a frame But why my motor skills are out of phase I feel like I've awoken in a maze Though we've never met before Baby, I am sure It was just one of those things One of those crazy flings One of those bells that now and then rings It was just one of those nights Just one of those fabulous flights A trip to the moon On gossamer wings It was one of those things If we thought a bit About the end of it As we started Painting the town We have been aware That our love affair was too hard not to cool down so goodbye you know man here's hoping we'll meet now and then it was great fun but it was just one of those Get our man. Here's hoping we'll meet now and then. It was great fun, but it was just one of those. In 1801, the former office of President Thomas Jefferson was converted into the state dining room. Tonight, this room that has hosted dinners for countless heads of state 
serves up a performance with legendary jazz artists. Performing nine, Esperanza Spalding, Zakir Hussein, John Beasley, Lionel Lueke, Kendrick Scott, and Diane Reeves. <laughs> Outside of my window, say, can you come out and play? And I brought a bag of her mama's cooking spoons so we could dig a hole and try to reach China and get there by her. Across the sky Filled with dreams Any child could wear a paper crown And be a king or queen At night Blues and jazz share a rich history and form the foundation on which all modern American music was created. Bet you didn't know that. Buddy Guy has often been called, has often been called one of the best guitarists of all time. And he's here tonight to play one of his signature blues tunes. Please welcome the legendary Buddy Guy. I'm looking for Al Capone. Maybe it's 
Esperanza Spaulding and Sting when jazz at the White House continues. We now go to the formal entrance of the White House, the grand foyer. Jazz's traditional mentor-apprentice relationship is exemplified in our next multi-generational performance. Tonight, we brought together the legendary Wayne Shorter, Grammy winner Esperanza Spaulding, and 12-year-old jazz pianist Joey Alexander performing Wayne Shorter's classic, Footprints. Gentlemen, please welcome the Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bokova. Jazz was born in this country, but now is traveling all around the world. It has helped shape the American spirit, and now it is owned by all the people all over the world. Through jazz, we improvise with others. We live together better in dialogue and respect. And this is what UNESCO stands for, 
and we are honored to share this with you in the United States and with the world. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a big honor to be with you here this evening. Thank you. Please welcome Academy Award winner, Helen Mirren. Oh, it's so wonderful to be here this evening and to introduce a legendary musician, a fellow countryman of mine, whose affinity for jazz led him to write and record this song on his album, Nothing Like the Sun. Joining him on stage, Herbie Hancock, Robert Glasper, Lionel Luecke, Marcus Miller, Terry Lynn Carrington, and guitar legend Pat Metheny. Ladies and gentlemen, Sting. The moon will be my guide and your blue blue shadows I would hide all oh, good people sleep tonight I'm all by myself in your silver light I would gaze at your face the whole I'd go out of my mind But for you
To see more great performances from tonight's show, go to jazzday.com. Each year, we've ended our International Jazz Day All-Star Global Concert with a transformative song that is near and dear to my heart and probably to yours. A song that asks us to envision a world where all citizens live in peace. Imagine there's no countries It isn't hard to do Nothing to kill or die for And no religion to Imagine all the people living life in peace. Ooh now you may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. Mm -hmm. And the world. Just a dreamer, but I know, I know, I know, I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the will be as as Transportation provided by United Airlines, official airline of International Jazz Day.